Prepositional phrases in WH question. For example, if we have a sentence like, uh, he is giving it to him. So, to him, it's a prepositional phrase, right? But if we do not know to whom, so we would make it, he is giving it to whom, right? So, it will become a WH question under the influence of preposition. So, how do we deal? As we have seen so far that all WH tend to come to the beginning or the initial position of the uh, sentence. Let's see how do we deal with them. They are, for example, echo question, John bought the necklace for whom? Right? For her. So, instead of her, it is for whom? So, it's a prepositional preposition with the WH question. So, we will have to move this WH element to the initial position. So, actually, what happened, it may affect the whole prepositional phrase. So, this for whom may affect the movement, may affect the whole. So, the sentence 55 may be sentence 56a. For who or whom did John buy the necklace? However, the place for the preposition is empty here so that we know that an element from uh, this place is moved somewhere in the sentence. It may affect only WH word. Sometimes the whole preposition uh, phrase is affected as in 56a and sometimes only the WH word is brought to the initial position and the, the sentence becomes something like 556b who whom did John buy the necklace for? So, we can say that this sentence ends with a preposition. However, one thing we as teacher generally referring to the prescriptive grammar say that in prescriptive grammar a sentence must not be ended with a preposition. However, in descriptive writing it's a very common uh, thing. It can end with a preposition as well. In both cases, the move constituent uh, 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 match the type of gap but, uh, that is preposition uh, phrase or noun phrase. So, there was place for preposition phrase and place for noun phrase. In B, it, it is only the noun phrase followed the preposition that is moved. I mean, the, for, the object of the preposition was moved to the uh, initial position as we have just seen. The preposition left over behind is said to be stranded. So, it has uh, been left alone, so it is stranded. In A, the move WH word who or whom trails a preposition along with it. So, for whom we brought for as well as the WH word in A sentence. You are finding it who or whom generally if we are talking uh, precisely about pedagogical or uh, prescriptive grammar, we would prefer whom. However, nowadays in, uh, uh, in especially in uh, informal English or in descriptive English, uh, many native speakers tend to use uh, who instead of whom. If movement affects more than just a WH constant, we say that the other elements are Piped, piped. So these are uh, the elements which are left, which are free, right, or which are optional. So piped, piped is usually an optional uh, with PPs. So we can bring it with PP or we can leave it without PP. In some cases, native speakers feel that pipe, pipe is obligatory, right. That it's an op optional, so we must not leave preposition. We should take it with the uh, uh, with the uh, uh, noun, its object. So let's produce wh question corresponding to fifty seven two. He offended her in what way? So obviously we have two ways we can put. What did he offend her? Uh, in what way did he offend her? So this can be the sentence. We'll have to take the whole preposition in what way did he offend her or we may say 
ही ऑफेंडेड हर इन वॉट वे ऑब्वियसली वी आर नॉट लिविंग हेयर द प्रपोजिशन यू गॉट होम बाय वॉट टाइम डिड यू गेट होम और वॉट टाइम डिड यू गेट होम बाय सो इट सीम्स दैट वी मस्ट टेक द प्रपोजिशन विद द डब्ल्यू एच वर्ड शी आस्ट यू टू पिक हर अप एट वॉट स्टेशन सो एट वॉट स्टेशन डिड शी आस यू टू पिक अप her uh, pick her up if we leave here at it will be a little odd like at what uh, what station did she asked you to pick her up at so at is better to be taken with the uh, wh word to the initial position so preposition stranding yields particularly awkward sentences when the pp's are adverbial adjuncts of time or uh, place as in case of at what station did she ask you to pick up uh, pick her up at so it looks it's not grammatically incorrect sentence but looks a bit odd sentence so certain preposition however cannot be left like during or not with stranding uh, they never uh, allow stranding for example which holiday did he meet her during this is not possible during which holiday did he meet her will be the correct sentence